In the world of cybercrime, few names evoke as much awe and infamy as Roman Selesnev, a Russian hacker with a 12-year reign of digital terror. This is the story of a man whose fascination with computers in early life led him down a path that would forever etch his name in the annals of Russian hacking history. As a young boy, Roman was captivated by the world of technology, and it wasn't long before he discovered his knack for bending it to his will. His first forays into hacking were rather modest, a game here, a website there, but it wasn't long before Roman realized that he could use his skills for far more than just mischief. His initial successes were intoxicating. Each successful hack was a rush, a thrill that drew him deeper into the world of cybercrime. It was during this time that he adopted the alias Track 2, a name that would soon become synonymous with some of the most audacious hacks the world had ever seen. As Track 2, Roman began to undertake larger and more daring ventures. He wasn't just hacking games and websites anymore, he was delving into the world of financial institutions, stealing credit card information, and amassing a fortune from his illicit activities. Each successful hack emboldened him further, pushing him to take on even greater challenges. But as his reputation grew, so too did his ego. Roman began to revel in the spoils of his crimes. He lived an extravagant lifestyle a testament to the vast fortune he had accumulated through his cyber exploits. He was the envy of many, a figure of awe and infamy in the world of hacking. Yet, with every success, Roman became more audacious. His actions were no longer just about the thrill of the hack. They were about power, control, and the allure of the forbidden. His exploits were no longer just games, they were serious crimes with real-life consequences. As Roman's influence grew, so did his audacity, leading him down a path of extravagant indulgence funded by his illicit activities. His tale is one of rise and fall, a journey that took him from the depths of the hacking world to the heights of infamy. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the life of Roman Selesnev, the notorious Russian hacker. Lavish parties, exotic vacations, and high-end luxury goods became the norm for Roman, a far cry from his humble beginnings. Roman Selesnev lived a life that one might describe as a whirlwind of extravagance. His story is one that is drenched in opulence, a tale of a man who reveled in the spoils of his digital conquests. The wealth he amassed from his hacking activities was not hidden away in dark corners, but rather, it was splashed out in the open for all to see. His taste for luxury cars was second to none. He had a penchant for the most expensive models, ones that roared with power and boasted of speed. Vehicles that were not just modes of transport but symbols of success and dominance. His collection ranged from sleek sports cars to robust SUVs each one more luxurious than the last. Then there was his penchant for high-end fashion. Brands that resonated with exclusivity and prestige were his go-to. From the finest Italian leather shoes to the most exquisite Swiss watches, Roman wore his wealth quite literally on his sleeve. But it wasn't just about what he wore or drove. Roman's lifestyle extended to his living spaces as well. His homes, yes, homes in plural, were as opulent as they could get. Sprawling mansions, luxurious penthouses, and beachside villas became his abodes. Each one was a testament to his success, a symbol of his rise in the hacking world. And let's not forget about the parties. Oh, the parties, filled with the who's who of the underground world, his parties were legendary. Roman was a generous host, splurging on the most expensive liquors and gourmet cuisines. His parties were a spectacle, a display of his wealth and power. But life wasn't all about luxuries and parties for Roman. He also enjoyed the finer things in life. Exotic vacations to the most exclusive destinations were a regular feature in his calendar. He traveled the world, living life on his own terms, all funded by his hacking exploits. But as Roman reveled in his ill-gotten gains, the net was slowly closing in. Roman's hubris eventually led him to venture beyond Russia's borders, a move that would prove to be his undoing. Roman Selesnev, the notorious Russian hacker, was living a life of opulence, indulging in the spoils of his cybercrimes. But his reign wouldn't last forever. The year was 2014 and Roman's fateful journey took him to the sunny shores of the Maldives, a tropical paradise far removed from the cold confines of Russia. But unbeknownst to Roman, this idyllic getaway would be his downfall. The authorities were closing in, their net tightening around the elusive hacker who had, until then, operated with impunity. It was here, in this island paradise, that Roman was apprehended. His capture was a significant victory in the fight against cybercrime and it marked the beginning of the end for Roman. 
Extradited to the United States, Roman was put on trial for his crimes. The charges were numerous and severe. Bank fraud, identity theft, and unauthorized access to protected computer systems, to name just a few. The evidence against him was overwhelming, and his past exploits came back to haunt him. The trial was a media frenzy, the world watching as one of the most notorious figures in the annals of Russian hacking history faced justice. The verdict? Guilty on all counts. The sentence? 27 years of imprisonment, a record sentence for such crimes. This was no slap on the wrist, no quick stint in a correctional facility. This was a clear message to the world of cybercrime, no one is untouchable, no one is above the law. Roman's conviction was a pivotal moment in the fight against cybercrime, a moment that demonstrated the long arm of the law could reach even the most elusive of cybercriminals. Roman's downfall marked the end of a notorious chapter in the history of cybercrime. His capture and subsequent conviction serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of such illicit activities. His tale from rise to fall is a cautionary tale, a testament to the relentless pursuit of justice in the face of cybercrime. Roman's legacy is a stark reminder of the reach and impact of cybercrime. This statement rings true as we consider the magnitude of devastation left in the wake of Roman Selesnev's hacking spree. His exploits, spanning over a decade, resulted in financial damages that climbed into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Not only did he rob businesses of their hard-earned revenue, but he also plunged countless individuals into financial turmoil. The victims of Roman's crimes ranged from small businesses to large corporations, and the impact was felt far and wide. Imagine the shock of these organizations waking up to find their systems breached, their data stolen, and their financial reserves depleted. Beyond the immediate financial loss, these victims had to grapple with the long-term effects of damaged reputations and the daunting task of rebuilding consumer trust. But the ripple effects of Roman's notorious hacking activities didn't stop at his victims. His audacious exploits prompted a significant shift in the world of cybersecurity. Companies became more vigilant, investing heavily in advanced security systems to protect their digital assets. The demand for cybersecurity experts skyrocketed, turning it into one of the fastest-growing fields in the tech industry. Moreover, Roman's case served as a catalyst for change in the legal landscape. It highlighted the gaps in the existing cybercrime laws and the urgent need for international cooperation in tackling these crimes. In the aftermath of his trial, we witnessed a global push for stricter cybercrime laws and enhanced cross-border collaboration in cybercrime investigations. Roman's story is more than just a tale of a hacker's rise and fall. It is a testament to the far-reaching consequences of cybercrime and the urgent need for robust cybersecurity measures. It underscores the fact that in this digital age, anyone can become a victim of cybercrime, and we must all take proactive steps to protect ourselves. Roman's story serves as a cautionary tale for those who might be tempted to follow in his footsteps. A seemingly glamorous life of cybercrime can come crashing down in an instant, leaving behind a trail of destruction and a life bound by the shackles of retribution. Locked away in a federal prison, Roman's days of luxury and freedom are a distant memory. Now Roman Selesnev resides in a world far removed from his past life of opulence and extravagance. This notorious Russian hacker, once a figure of infamy and awe, spends his days within the confines of his prison cell, a stark contrast to the life he once led. The story of Roman Selesnev serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences that can befall those who choose a path of cybercrime. His tale is one of ambition and talent turned awry, a potent mix of brilliance and malevolence that led to his downfall. His life is a testament to the fact that no matter the level of ingenuity, the arm of the law has a long reach. As we delve into the aftermath of Roman's exploits, it's essential to recognize the lessons that can be gleaned from his story. His downfall underscores the importance of using one's skills and intelligence for the betterment of society, rather than its detriment. It is a call to action for all those in the field of technology and beyond, to use their talents to uplift and innovate, not to deceive and destroy. In the wake of Roman's incarceration, the battle against cybercrime continues to rage on. The world has awakened to the reality of this digital threat, and the importance of cybersecurity has never been more pronounced. As we continue to evolve in this digital age, the need for robust and effective cybersecurity measures becomes increasingly paramount. Roman Selesnev's tale is not just one of personal downfall, but a stark reminder of the potential repercussions of cybercrime.
His story serves as a warning to those who might be tempted to follow in his footsteps, and a call to arms for those dedicated to combating such threats. As we bid adieu to the tale of Roman Seleznev, remember, in the digital age, the line between right and wrong is not just a moral one, but a line that can determine your freedom. As we delve into the shadows of the hacking world, we uncover tales of audacity, cunning, and downfall. Today, we've walked in the footsteps of Roman Seleznev, a figure whose audacious exploits and precipitous downfall left a lasting imprint on the annals of cybercrime. His story is a stark reminder of the high stakes in the digital world, where a life of opulence can be built on the ruins of countless victims, and where justice, though sometimes delayed, is relentless in its pursuit. We want to extend our heartfelt thanks to all of you for joining us on this journey. Your curiosity fuels our content. A special shout out to our channel members Derek, Tyson, and David Henderson. Your support helps us delve deeper and bring these stories to light. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of cybercrime, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Until next time, stay safe in the digital world.